My name is Johnny. Ever since I was born, I've worked for Mr. Edgar Ocean and his family. It became like family to me because I was even born in his house. Unfortunately, my mother passed away in childbirth. She was not saved by the doctors and my father died of a lingering illness. Before he died, Mr. Ocean made a promise that he would look after me and he kept his promise. Even though I worked as a maid, I was still treated better than the others. I had my room, I got my paycheck on time, and Mr. Ocean also sent me to school and covered all my expenses himself. I was so grateful for that. Not every landlord is so generous, right? But mine was. A few years later, as I grew older, I became not only my master's friend, but also his son, Oliver. He and I were the same age but there was a difference in behavior. Oliver grew up spoiled and gave Mr. Ocean a lot of trouble. Sometimes, in order not to hurt him, he would ask me to talk to him. Oliver wasn't a bad person, but he often forgot that. Once I caught him with a bunch of illegal substances that looked like psychotropic drugs. Oliver was on his knees, begging me not to tell the owner, but what could I do otherwise? After all, his life depended on it, and what if something happened to him? I would not forgive myself for keeping that fact from his father. I went to Mr. Ocean and told him everything. His father was furious. He ordered security to get rid of it all, and he put Oliver under house arrest himself. Johnny, come into my office. I went to him, thinking I was about to get in trouble for what I had said or seen, but Mr. Ocean handed me an envelope. This is your fee for aiding and abetting unwanted consequences. Oh, no need, sir. I just did what I had to do. I wasn't expecting a reward. I insist. You are like a son to me, after all. I raised you, and I'm proud to have at least one son as good and well-mannered as you. Thank you, sir. What about Oliver? I'll take care of his upbringing. He'll be away for a while. I want you to call me Daddy, not Mr. Ocean. You're my second son now. What? Are you serious? I didn't expect this kind of promotion, but I was pleased that my boss considered me a member of his family, though not a real one, not by blood, but still. My father and mother worked for this family for many years. They served faithfully and were never abused. I wish my parents could have seen how hard I tried to continue their work. Oliver found out that his father called me a son. Naturally, he didn't like it. That night, I got a couple of punches in the face and a couple in the stomach because of jealousy. I took the blows in silence as I couldn't respond. Mr. Ocean's youngest daughter, Milena, saw this. She was so sweet, always defended me to him. She chased her brother away and helped me up. You're always so nice to me, thank you. You know why? Come on, what's love got to do with it? You're still little, but thank you for caring. Can age be a barrier to love? What kind of discrimination is that? My feelings are sincere and you devalue them. I'm not devaluing them. I'm not ready to accept them because you're worth better and more. Besides, we won't be allowed to be together anyway. But you're not a servant anymore. Yeah, I'm your brother now. But I'm not your brother. Milena, honey, you're charming. But I don't deserve you. I know that. Okay, shut up. We'll talk later when I'm older. And also, don't relax. I know my father. He bribes you for a reason. What are you talking about? He just loves me. It's not that simple, Johnny. Just be vigilant. She was always looking out for me, feeding me goodies and worrying about me. I don't know what she saw in me. She was always screaming that she would marry me. I was just amused. I enjoyed my new status. I was even relieved of all my work. For the first time in my 15 years, I was lying on a lounge chair by the pool, drinking a milkshake, reading a book, and not worrying about anything but one thing. Where's Oliver, Dad? I asked my host as he sat down to drink a milkshake next to me. My new dad said that Oliver is being treated at some drug dispensary, and so he asked me not to mention him in front of the important guests who came from Canada. These guests are coming to visit us today, so act like you're my only son. 
I was proud. I was so honored. Man, my biggest dream had come true. Life had changed and I was insanely happy. I did not even think about what Milena had said. In the evening when the guests came, I met them in a beautiful tuxedo with beautiful hair, acting like a real aristocrat. For so many years, I had learned how to behave at social gatherings. Everyone admired me. Mr. Ocean introduced me as his favorite son and my hand was shaken. A little later, I went to the courtyard to get some air and Milena came up to me. I told you not to let your guard down. Come on, I'm just happy. Be happy for me. Free cheese is only in a mousetrap. Come on, Milena, you just can't be happy for me. Does it bother you that I no longer serve you and bring you things or food when you need it at your first call? What did you say? I'm no longer your servant. Accept it. I've earned my place in the sun, so just accept it. You idiot. She left in tears on the third floor to her room. I stood looking at the clear water in the pool. Suddenly, the cops burst into our house. The guests were frightened. My new daddy too. I ran up to my host and the cops started searching the house. Where's Mr. Ocean Jr? They asked. I stepped forward. That's me. And I was handcuffed. You were charged with unlawful distribution manufacture of drugs. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say. Wait, wait, wait. What silence? What are you talking about? We got a tip that Mr. Ocean's son is running drugs. It's not me. It's Oliver. Dad, tell them. Poor boy, jeez, how could you stab me in the back? What? Dad, Mr. Ocean, tell them the truth. Is there another son of yours in the house? I have another son, Oliver, but he's been abroad a long time, studying to be a lawyer. He hasn't been here for a long time. You see, Oliver is not my son. He is the son of a servant. I trusted him and adopted him. What a shame. I didn't expect that from you, Johnny. What are you talking about anyway? And I remembered Milena's words. Free cheese only in a mousetrap. So, he was just using me to set me up to cover his tracks with his spoiled son. He had planned the whole thing from the beginning. I was such an idiot. They took me to the station. Mr. Ocean didn't come to see me for the first three days. And when he did, he said he'd try to get me out as soon as possible, promising to make restitution and a generous reward. Only... He did not take into account the fact that my trust and sincere love and loyalty could no longer be redeemed by anything. I answered nothing and went back to my cell. A little later, Milena came to see me. I was almost on my knees asking her forgiveness, to which she told me, if anyone in our family loves you for real, it's me. But you're really stupid. You didn't believe me. See how things are now, she said. I was ashamed to admit my defeat to her, but she was right. Those investors we had at the house, Daddy brought them to our house on purpose. He's gunning for a major shareholder position in the company. And all these people wanted to see not only rich, powerful, but honest at the helm. You played right into his hands, taking two bullets at once. First, you were responsible for the sins of my brother. And secondly, my father, with his gesture of justice, showed the guests that despite the status of his allegedly owned son, he felt that you should answer for everything under the law said Milena. Man, I look so pathetic. And why do you love me? For being such a naive fool. You'll have to sit here, but don't worry, I'll think of something. Milena left. She was only 11 years old, and she was a hundred times smarter than me. So while I'm cleaning up Oliver's sins, sitting behind bars, Oliver came home a couple of weeks later, drove the bill for me, and got away with it. Am I angry? Yes, but more at myself for my naivety. That will be a lesson for me from now on.